Welcome to 7 River Sports. I'm your host, Terry Erickson. Each week, an inside look into sports, wellness, and into fitness. Well, this week, the spotlight shines bright on Holman High School. In fact, the whole Holman community. As my guests this week, a pair of seniors, Ben Connolly, Mason Tronic. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank Thanks you for having us. We only just we only select certain people for this show, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, your profile was pretty impressive, so welcome, and we're glad you're here. Well, you know, there's a lot going on in the world, as we know, st starting a little bit different this week to reveal the true substance of our guests. A lot of things going on in the world, and both of you have a philosophy to look on the bright side, but yet... Uh, there's a lot of things that have happened. We all know COVID, racial injustice, and so on. And it's impacted people from all ages, all demographic groups throughout the country, throughout the world. Even though um, you have risen to the occasion uh, in terms of seeing the bright side, how has the pandemic and all the things that have happened, virtual school and so on, how has that affected you, Bennett? Um, I think it's just made me really appreciate the little things in life, you know, going from virtual into in-person school, being able to talk to people, have lunch with people, talk with your teachers, not having to sit on a computer all day, stuff like that. I know that um, you, you're both quality students, students first, athletes second. Mm -hmm. I know you come from a good school, Mason, that has teachers that really uh, share what's going on in the world. You're not um, ambivalent to what's going on. You know what's going on. It must have affected you, too. Yeah, um, COVID especially was really big for me. Um, I take my education really seriously. So having that um, relationship with my teachers is really important and my students as well. So when we were virtual, it was really hard for me to like really get my education. Like I had to seek other avenues to make sure that I was really understanding material and really getting to know like the coursework that I was going through. So it was another blockade for my education, but I, I had to work through it just like everybody else has. You know, there was an empirical study done recently and it verified what I've seen when I've been in Europe several times in, in the Netherlands, Denmark, and so on. And the study showed that uh, people in that, kids in that part of the world that are your age are a lot more content with their life than a lot of students, a lot of people your age in this country mm -hmm. that are looking for the American dream, that are not satisfied with who they are. And, and you, I'm just looking at your profile. This is why we start with something different. This is really uh, interesting to me. Because, for example, with Mason, you talk about being appreciative of what you have, not looking for things materialistically, being thankful, appreciating people around you, and, and telling that. That is unusual for somebody as young as you. <laughs> so what it says to me and to our viewers is that you are content with who you are. Yeah. Um I definitely feel like, um, especially like being a high school student growing up in the 21st century, um, I feel like a lot of people get in the idea of like comparing yourself to other people and not really taking that step back and really like viewing yourself as a positive person. Um, we live in a Western culture society with, where it's very individualistic and not really culture like um, together. So I feel like. Uh, as a culture, sometimes I feel like we just focus on ourselves a lot too, which I feel like is very hard on yourself, and I feel like stepping back is really important. Selfishness versus selflessness. Yep, exactly. Yeah, and in and, and reading about you, Bennett, and your profile, you talk about um, being appreciative too, but specifically you talk about looking on the bright side. The, the cup is half full rather than half empty. That's an interesting view. I, I think, especially with COVID, I lost a lot of opportunities. Um, the preseason for basketball, obviously, having to just jump right into it, having no camps, no nothing. And I think having that much time, you know, with my family, it was really opened my eyes to just being appreciative and looking on the bright side. It's, Yes, people lost a lot because of COVID, but I still have my family and I still have the people I love that I can spend time with now, and I think that helped. Speaking of family, you've gotten, you have good support, but keep in mind that uh, even 
young people with good support. There's an epidemic of mental health issues for young people in this country as a result of isolation, as a result of virtual school, uh, as a result of things being taken away. Yeah. Have you noticed that among your friends? Yes. Yeah, I think, especially with basketball, I mean, as you know, a lot of our team had to quarantine and just hearing everybody talk about how much they missed even going to practices and doing the sprints and the conditioning, I think that really shows that there's a lot more of a social and mental impact that quarantining had on those people as well, rather than just having to sit in their room and sit on their phone. I think it goes unnoticed a lot, especially with kids our own age. How has it affected you or the friends that you associate with, Mason? Um, personally, I when the news broke that we were going virtual last spring, um, I was just pumped. Like I was <laughs> so excited to be home. Like yep. we all thought it was like a break. Yeah. And then after about a few weeks, everything started settling in. It kind of wasn't exactly that fun. Like. It, it really took a mental toll on me, like just being like kind of by myself, not being able to see friends, fam uh, as much family as I wanted, which really over time just really took a toll on me, I guess. Well, because people have asked me, Terry, how would you handle being isolated, being <laughs> yeah. virtual? It, it, it was like, ah, uh, not too well, because <laughs> the big part of, uh, well, kids that don't view, certainly work hard, uh, get your academics in line, but socialization. Mm -hmm. It's such a vital part of uh, growing up at, in middle school, high school, and so on. It's just a big part of who you guys are because you're involved in your school. Well, again, our guests this week, uh, Mason Tronic and Bennett Connolly, as we take the show here on May 13th, uh, the Holman Vikings 2-5 and five record. You lost uh, the first five games, and now you've won two in a row. Yep. And... Uh, Big game tonight, I see, as, you, uh, as we, again we tape the show, you, you play Aquinas, who's yeah. ranked in the state, and I think they're undefeated. But going back to the beginning of the season to where you are now, Bennett, uh, team-wise, not where you wanted to be. Of course, part of that is the loss of Rylan Wall, who was on our show a few weeks ago, being out for the season with an injury. Team-wise, individual-wise, Bennett, how, how do you feel? I'm feeling better, honestly. I think at the beginning of the season, everybody was shell-shocked. I think we have a lot of juniors on our team, and missing that sophomore season, which is really developmental, having to make that jump from JV freshman team all the way to varsity, because we have a lot of guys that are really talented, but obviously there's a different pace to the game at a varsity level, and it took a lot of guys a lot of time to adapt to that speed. How did you handle last year no season at all? It was... And so you jump from yeah. uh, the previous season, um, 2019, to all the way to 2021. It was tough. I think having to make that jump and better yourself as much as you can at home really was um, tough in general. I think a lot of guys like ourselves took it really seriously. I know I spent countless hours outside just like working out and trying to get better because I knew if I did get this chance again, it'd be my last shot. And I think working hard really helped me develop. Well, I know uh, that Mason baseball is your first love. You so you 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 were uh, you you didn't have a season as a junior at all, and so that I'm sure affected you. How do you feel about that and how you're playing so far this year? Um, yeah, it was really weird uh, not playing last year. Um, considering I only play baseball, uh, my biggest thing is all off season. I'm usually in the cage at least like three, four times a night or three, four times a week. So um, I felt really prepared for the season, and then just all of a sudden, just poof, it was gone. Um, it really kind of sucked. And then uh, I took the same approach this year, approaching my season. So I felt like I felt really prepared for my season, and I feel like. Um, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable so far to start the year. So, so the chemistry is really not there yet. Uh, you're, you're starting to evolve as a team. You're bringing things together, good things on the horizon. What are we going to see from the Vikings? Hopefully a lot of wins. I think we're all hoping for team success, and I think that's the real identity we have started to develop is a team that 
cares more about playing for each other than playing for themselves, and I think that's going to lead to a lot of success. Is that the culture of yeah. home and baseball? Absolutely. 100%. Um, we've had the same mentality for years now with our program. Um, every single one of us knows that it's just the fill the role mentality. Um, the senior leaves, next guy up. Uh, pretty much we look to win conference every single year and move forward every single year. Well, you, you both are captains. We don't have captains on our team. So you're both leaders, senior leaders, captains. I mean, yeah. because yeah. It, it just goes hand in hand with being a senior, senior with experience. So that's your job to take previous uh, teams and culture and kind of even raise the bar. Yep. How are you doing that? Lots of work, um, whether it's on the field or not. We, you know, got guys that lift daily, non-game days we all lift. Um, every day we come into practice with the same attitude that we're just trying to get better. No. No person walks into practice and thinks, I'm where I want to be. Everybody's looking to make that next step to improve themselves. When I watch practice, if I sneak in and, and hide behind a tree and watch practice, <laughs> to, am I going to see uh, you, your, uh, abil your um, uh, attitude uh, in, in terms of your drills and so on? Am I going to see you and spot you as a leader? 100%, yeah. Um. As a senior, like you said, you kind of are given the role of a leader um, just by your role. Um, so I kind of took that to heart, whether that be showing underclassmen doing drills and tryouts or um, younger guys on the team who may not have played as much baseball, um, showing them different techniques that will help them get better in their game, then yeah, obviously. All right. I just might hide behind a tree and watch and see if that's true in the next couple of weeks. Well, we're going to step aside just for a minute here. We'll be back right after this here on Seven River Sports. With our busy lives, it's a comfort to know that we can still remember loved ones in a traditional way with a monument. Lewiston Monuments in Lewiston, Minnesota has been helping families purchase a monument for over four generations. You'll find a large selection of beautiful granite, marble, and bronze monuments all at competitive prices. And they're a full-service company, so they also do straightening, cleaning, and repair of monuments. Stop in or call for a no-obligation consultation, or visit lewistonmonument.com for more information. You know, the thing I'm most proud of when I think about our company is the reputation that we've been able to build in this community. Our technicians have done a great job going out and performing magnificent jobs for the customer. And our customers have rewarded us with some really great reviews online. We have over 150 five-star reviews online right now. Our technicians do a great job out there and our reviews show it. We can say without hesitation, when you choose Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, you'll be glad you did. community, uh, part of their success story with Mason Tronic and Bennett Connolly. Well, I talked to Coach Mark Wall recently, a good friend, and uh, he said this about Mason Tronic. He said, just a little spark plug that keeps on <laughs> providing energy all the time. He's always, uh, 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 always willing to listen and learn and uh, it has great leadership, takes baseball very serious, and is a good person that will be successful in the future. Is he right on? Um, I, I, I feel weird taking compliments, but I guess, sure. <laughs> um, or should you want to add something to that? <laughs> no, I really don't want to. I don't want to put words in his mouth. So, in other words, he, has, uh, he respects your attitude and your abilities. That's pretty good. Yeah. But he also talked about Ben Connolly, <laughs> and he said, uh, quiet but energetic. You guys think he's quiet? I don't think he's been quiet so far, but energetic, brings a good sense of humor and lightheartedness, willing to work and, uh, and become a, 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 a tremendous baseball pitcher, you know, lots of good athletes at home, and doesn't get too high or too low. That's a good quality emotionally. And um, 
has a bright future ahead of him too. Yeah. I think Coach Wall is probably correct with both of you. It sounds about right to me. Did he miss anything with you? I don't know. I don't think so. I think, he's, I think he nailed it. Yeah. Did you know that uh, how he felt about you and your your uh, place on the team? Um, I think so. He's a quiet guy when it comes to making those personal comments, but you can tell just by his attitude when he's around you that he cares about you and knows everybody really well. Bennett Connolly, basketball, baseball, high, high IQ. Now, here, this is in, in school, in this classroom. <laughs> but your friend, uh, Cole Callander, who was on the show a while back, said to me this morning, here again as we tape the show on May 13th, he said, Bennett brought a lot of uh, uh, intelligence, high IQ on the basketball court. He made us better. Yeah. How'd you do that? I think ever since I was little, my dad always drilled into me the idea of doing the little things right. Because anybody can go out there and if they work hard enough can, you know, shoot threes, can make free throws and all that stuff. But knowing where the ball is going to bounce on a rebound, who likes passes where, stuff like that, that's what makes a team a team. And so ever since I was little, that's just been in me. Good for you. And so student first, both of them. Student first, athlete second, Bennett, highest honor roll all four years. Wow. Yep. And uh, all academic on, in the MBC, National Honor Society, and DECA. Uh, and you have embellished uh, your role uh, as a student, and you've gotten involved in as many things as possible. <laughs> yep. I, I stay busy. Yeah, and that's, that's a good quality. And Mason, you, 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 I, I know you... I watched you run cross country when you were younger, play basketball, <laughs> baseball all four years. Now this is interesting too, Holman Rotary March Student of the Month, uh, but leadership, leadership academically, leadership athletically, DECA, student leadership team, diverse culture alliance. What is that? Um, it's a group at our school that um, combats uh, racism and other social issues at our school. Uh, I got involved in that last year um, after we had some incidents occur at our school. Um, I feel like I'm a natural problem solver, so whenever I see problems, um, I get involved even if I don't have my own impetus to uh, personally get involved, but I felt like my um, problem solving skills were needed in that situation, so I thought I'd get involved. Good for you. And Student Memorial Board Committee. Yep. I'm not sure if our viewers or even the host <laughs> knows exactly what that is. Um, so yeah, last uh, summer with our remodeling of our high school, um, we had a student memorial wall in our school. Um, unfortunately, uh, they decided to take it down without um, acknowledging the um, members of the wall so there was a community discrepancy and they decided to call a meeting together to come up with a permanent solution for how they were to, going to move that wall um, so I again I saw another chance for me to help our community so I decided to get involved um, put in some time and some volunteer hours to help come up with a solution for that disappointing to a lot of people when they did that yeah. and you've you've rectified it haven't you mm -hmm. and it's and, and I'm glad you did well um, Mason, too, uh, you're graduating onto another uh, support, another part of your life. You've had great support from parents, great support from grandparents. Uh, I, when I think of Karn Taranik, uh, <laughs> I think of one word, and that, would, uh, that word is care. What do you care about what you're doing? Because you said that all the time when David was playing yeah. for me. But, and then you're going to UW Madison Mechanical Engineering. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I love math and science. I, like I said, I take a lot of pride in my school, um, especially this last like year. Um, and it's it's kind of transitioned to like the extrinsic motivation of just getting good grades to more of an intrinsic thing where I'm looking to just like better myself and my knowledge of like the world. So nice. I really loved science and math. So. Depth. That boy has depth, <laughs> but uh, and aerospace. Whoa! I mean, you maybe you'll um, maybe we'll see you <laughs> on a jet plane, <laughs> taking as an astronaut. Um, 
That's what I said when I was young. Terry, what do you want to be when I was young? You know, how about an astronaut? And they said, I don't think that's going to happen. So I think you should do something else. So I, I went and changed the yeah. direction. But Bennett, too, uh, uh, you're graduating. You had great support in your family. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you're staying here. And yeah. You're going to UWL and exercise in sports science. Yep. Um, I really love the area. And I always do. I didn't want to go super far away for college. And being that the eventual goal was a physical therapist, I think UWL has got a great program, so all the chips just kind of fell on my plate. A lot of people have, uh, a lot of us have people that have inspired us over the years, but what's interesting about both of you is you reference your parents to being your role models. Mace, uh, Mace you did that with uh, your parents guiding you in the right, right direction, their support, their encouragement. And wow, you, they're amazing parents, and you aspire to be like them someday uh, when you raise your own children. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I obviously graduating and moving on to a new part of my life, um, I've been able to reflect on a lot of things. Um, my biggest reflection was just appreciating, like I said before. Um, just like how much care that they showed me and just caring for my success as a um, individual. Um, I really appreciated that. There goes that word care again. So there you go. So it's the same thing with you, Betty. Your parents are, have inspired you. Yeah, they, they both work incredibly hard and we've as a family been through some ups and downs throughout my life and seeing them not only bounce back but keep my sister and I in good spirits and instill that hard work in us too. I'm forever grateful for that. What's something that our viewers may not know about Bennett Connolly? Oh, geez. Um, I, <laughs> your profile indicates something I was a little bit surprised of. Oh, what do you got? They, they, <laughs> what do I got? Well, <laughs> you, you call yourself a nerd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm, you don't look like a nerd to me. No, I'm, I'm a nerd. Yeah. Read well, a lot, play a lot it? of video games. All the stuff. Oh, yeah. What if I told you I've never played a video game in my life? What would you say? I'd believe you. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't think you're a nerd because you're, you, you exemplify what high school students well, thank should. you. And also, um, you have had some injuries. Has that been a setback for you? Um, yeah, it was initially. I think it definitely was aided with COVID in a way, being able to fully rest my body and help myself recover but yeah and you but you've taken the high road and you've uh, you've overcome that but mason i just i know even talking to your family you've had injuries has that been difficult for you yeah um it's really unfortunate with me um i had slight tears in my labrum a couple years ago um unfortunately the only thing that really affected me was like it wouldn't really I wouldn't really have pain throughout the day, but as soon as I decided to play baseball, that was the only time that I had pain. Luckily, I didn't have to have surgery, but um, I went through a lot of rigorous um, physical therapy, um, but sometimes I'll have lingering issues, so. Still not 100%? Um, it comes back every once in a while, so it's a lot of just mitigating how much I'm using it so here's what's interesting we can't close the show without saying this that Mason wrote uh -oh. to me <laughs> one thing you don't know about Mason which is I've never seen this before but I'm sure it exists uh, with other students in Mason what people don't know about you is that you enjoy school you enjoy learning you have an appetite for learning you you would go to school even if there weren't grades because you love the academic <laughs> world no, that that is really impressive yeah um, you didn't just make that up did you no I'm not I wasn't I wasn't just putting that down um, again I said I love learning um, grades Grades would put stress on me when it comes to education, but if grades weren't a thing and everything else wasn't a thing, I, I value education enough that I'd show up for school, even if it meant that I didn't have to be there. If you dodge a wrench, you can also dodge a ball. <laughs> yep. Dodge Meaning? Ball. Dodge ball. Yep. You can, you the can, movie? You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. help, help, help me out. The movie's called Dodgeball. Yeah. Great movie. I recommend it. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, well, I said I don't do video games, but I have watched a movie mm -hmm. once in a while. Well, I would hope so. You'd be missing out if you did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so advice as we close the show. You got a lot of young people watching this. Maybe they go to Holman, maybe not. Maybe they go wherever they're at. It's like, how can I be a successful student athlete like Mason Tronic, like Bennett Connolly? How can I get to that level? Very succinctly, give them some advice. Go for it. Scheduling. Um, for me, it's, I use an agenda. Yep. People think I'm weird, but I use an agenda and it helps me like block out all the things I have am going on for that day. It helps me be more productive and achieve my goals. So yeah, but it's a to-do list. Time management. Many of us mm -hmm. do the same thing. Look right in the camera, Bennett, and right. tell those young people uh, some advice. Work hard. I think there's a stigma around being that guy that shows up early and stays late that you could be home playing video games or hanging out with friends, but all that time you put in, whether it's school or um, athletically, it's going to pay off eventually. Have you done that? Yes. Good for you. Well, Thank you. it's been a pleasure uh, discussing life in general <laughs> with Mason Tronic and Bennett Connolly. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thanks for having thank us. You. We'll be back with some closing thoughts right after this. You know, the thing I'm most proud of when I think about our company is the reputation that we've been able to build in this community. Our technicians have done a great job going out and performing magnificent jobs for the customer. And our customers have rewarded us with some really great reviews online. We have over 150 five-star reviews online right now. Our technicians do a great job out there and our reviews show it. We can say without hesitation, when you choose Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, you'll be glad you did. When you're faced with the decision of selecting a monument to honor someone dear to you, call Lewiston Monuments for a no-obligation consultation. Lewiston Monument is a full-service monument company, serving families in Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin for over four generations. You'll find beautiful granite, marble, and bronze memorials all at competitive prices. Their experts can help you design the perfect and unique memorial. Lewiston Monument. Call today or on the web at lewistonmonument.com. Seven River Sports while our crew was at Lee Gilbert Field on Tuesday night for an NBC matchup. The Aquinas Blue Gold hosting the Sparta Spartans. Sparta jumped off to a 2-0 lead in the top of the first inning before Aquinas answered in the second with one run. The bats went silent until the bottom of the sixth when the Blue Golds played at three runs. Nick Kent led Sparta with two hits. Colby Berry, Brett Stiesel, Chris Jacobs, and Ty Kloss also had hits off winning pitch, blue goal pitcher Mikey Liam. Aquinas was led by Kelvin Hargrove with two hits, including a double. Jack Christensen, Jared Everson, and Riley Clark each recorded two base hits. Hayden Brigham was the losing pitcher as Sparta drops to 5-7 and seven on the year. The Spartans are at Logan for a doubleheader on Thursday. Aquinas moves to 18-1. and one. Hosting on Alaska on Thursday, Regis on Friday, and the La Crescent Lancers on Saturday. Final from Lee Gilbert Field, Aquinas 4 and Sparta 2. Well, that does it this week here on Seven Rivers Sports. I'm your host, Terry Erickson, hoping that you will have an active and a healthy week ahead.